गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू द क्लास टुडे टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर 11 व्हिच इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू एचटीएमएल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट इज एचटीएमएल एचटीएमएल स्टैंड्स फॉर हाइपर टेक्स्ट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज वाज डेवलप्ड बाय टिम बर्नर्स ली इन 1990 इट फॉर्म्स द बेसिक बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ वेब पेजेस इट एचटीएमएल इज नॉट अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बट अ मार्कअप लैंग्वेज it uses markup tags to describe web pages document tags the first html tags you are going to look at the document tags there are the tags that are required for every html page you create the html documents has two distinct parts a head and a body the head of the html document is where you enter the title of the page for example various scripting codes can also be written here within less than script greater than this tells the web browser what information should be considered to be in the head portion of the document and what it could call the document in the title bar of the browser window now save this file with file save as command in the text editor extension of the file should be .htm or .html understanding tags the first thing you should notice about these html tags is that all tags includes less than and greater than symbol on either side of the tag this is how html recognizes tags there are three types of tags container tags in html tags that includes both start and end tag are called container tags these tags wrap around the text in your document and provide a block to the text these go holding or containing the text in between the two tags for example less than title greater than html lesson less than slash title greater than empty tags all other tags in html falls in one or other category called empty tags these tags have only start tags there are no end tags the reason is that empty tags do not acts on blocks of text for example less than hr greater than horizontal rule tag it draws the lines across the width of your document comment tags comment lines are indicated by the special beginning tags less than exclamation mark dash dash and ending tag dash dash greater than placed at the beginning and end of every line to be treated or instructed as a comment in your book there are only two tags that is container tag and empty tag so you have to study only container tag and empty tag structure of an html document every web page has three essential parts head title and body you can actually make a functional web page without head and title tag but you really should never do that so for all purpose you should consider them as essential parts html elements all html documents are made up of html elements that have three components a pair of tags enclosed in angle brackets like less than html greater than and less than slash html greater than notice difference between the two tags the first tag is called the start tag or the opening tag and the second tag is called the end tag or the closing tag some attributes within the start tag any textual and graphical content between the start and the end tags it can also include other nested elements features of html element the html element is everything from the start till the end tag each tag is enclosed in angle brackets the general form of an html element is the overall function of a web page some html elements are defined as the empty elements they enclose no content 
the name of an HTML element in the name used in the tags. The end tags name is preceded by a slash. It attributes are not mentioned. Default values are used in each case to keep things simple. We will not specify any attributes and assume default value. Make your own web page. To make your own web page, you need two things. HTML editor, web browser. HTML editor. An HTML editor is an application software for creating web page. Although the HTML markup of a web page can be written with any text editor, specialized HTML editor can offer convenience and added functionality to create complex HTML web pages. The simplest editor that can be used is Notepad on Windows. More sophisticated ones are Adobe Dreamweaver and Microsoft Visual Studio and many more. Web Browser A web browser is an application software that re reads the HTML documents, HTML pages and displays them as web pages. The browser does not display the HTML tags but uses the tags to interpret the content of the page. Some of the popular web browsers are Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. Following is the simplest HTML code written in HTML editor. Notice the use of tags. Type the code above in the notepad and save the file as myfirsthtmlpage.htm. When you save an HTML file, you can use either .htm or .html file extension. There is no difference between the resulting web page and it's your own choice. You can then view this file in the web browser on your computer by double clicking on the file in Windows Explorer. It should look like this. Notice that the tags don't show up on the actual page. From the above HTML code, we learn that every HTML page starts with less than HTML greater than tag at the top and ends with less than slash HTML greater than at the bottom. It tells the browser that this is an HTML document. The entire page is divided into header with the less than head greater than less than slash head greater than and page body with less than body greater than less than slash body greater than the head tag contains general information like the title of the document the body tag holds all the content text pictures audio files video files etc you must have the html head body in every html file you must be surprised where is the text within the title and slash title tags displayed. This text becomes the title of the web page and is displayed on the top in the title bar of the web browser. HTML is not case sensitive. That means you can use either lowercase or uppercase letter. Less than capital HTML greater than is the same as less than small HTML greater than. For consistency, you must use one format. HTML heading tags. In the body part of HTML page, we can define headings using less than h1 greater than to less than h6 greater than tags. Less than h1 greater than defines the most important heading. Less than h6 greater than defines the least important heading. For example, these headings levels will appear in the browser like this. HTML heading should be used for displaying important text as heading and not to make text big or bold. It is important to use headlines to show the document structure. H1 headings should be used as important or main headings followed by h2 heading then the less important then h3 heading and so on html paragraph tag 
paragraph are defined with the less than p greater than tag this tag appears in the body of the web page for example this will show up in the browser as notice how browsers automatically add an empty line before and after a paragraph it is important to remember the end tag forgetting the end tag can produce unexpected results in some browsers empty html elements we have seen that each tag marks the beginning and the ending there are some tags which are written only once they are not written in pairs with start and end these tags are called empty tags line break tags we have observed that each paragraph starts on a new line if you want a line break or a new line inside a paragraph before the paragraph end tag then use less than br slash greater than tag for example this will display in the browser as the less than br slash greater than element is an empty html element it has no end tag horizontal rule tag the less than hr slash greater than tag creates a horizontal line in an html page that can be used to separate the content the less than hr slash greater than element is also an empty html element it has no end tag this will display in the browser as CSS is one of the core languages in the open web along with HTML and JavaScript. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Let's understand, since websites have been becoming more and more complicated, it's difficult to build things only using HTML. CSS is designed to enable the separation of presentation and content. There are multiple versions of CSS. The latest version of it is CSS3, which is maintained by a group in W3C. Let's understand the basic CSS syntax. Here, the word before the curly brackets is called a selector. Selector declares which part of the markup a style should apply. The content between the curly brackets defines the rules of all the styles to apply for that selector. Each rule have a property name and a value. There are more than 300 properties. Using them, you can lay out the HTML document in any way it's possible. There are three ways to apply CSS for an HTML document. Inline CSS Using the style attribute will apply styles to each element. This is not recommended because it's very hard to maintain as the application grows using style tag in the html document using style tag will define all the styles it's easier to maintain and good for single html documents external style sheet the best way to write all the css inside one file and save with the file extension of .css we can refer the style sheets inside our HTML using link tag. The best part of this method is we can share the same file across all the web pages. Using CSS, we can change the look of the web page the way we want. No need to change the HTML often. Page loads faster. Multiple device compatibility. You can define multiple styles for multiple devices, code reusability, and so on. To summarize, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, where cascading is a set of rules decides which rule to apply if more than one rule matched the element. CSS is a style sheet language used to describe the presentation of document. With this, we have finished with the chapter. Thank you.